Hi everybody, this is Zombie and welcome to another one of my Dungeon Boss videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at Life Reaper Brom's epic weapon, the Elder Scythe, which you can see him modelling for your viewing pleasure just here. The actual epic itself then at level 12, which is max, you will get a plus 30% bonus to attack, a plus 20% bonus to defence and a plus 20% bonus to your skill. The effect is a 30% chance to deal unhealable damage at times 3 the normal rate. Because his base attack score is really high, you end up doing an absolute ton of damage to whichever target you've just attacked. There's no area effect and there is no effect on your ally, so they get no bonus from this one. And the unhealable piece means that any damage that you do just can't be healed back by any healers that are on the defensive team. The weapon itself and the other two pieces required at level 6 and level 12 are obtained from Pestilence Spiral on Boss Island. Remember that you need to bring along the hero that needs the parts in order for them to drop and that also applies to the other epic weapons for the other heroes as well. And also remember that RNG plays a key factor in all of this so don't expect the parts to drop on your first run necessarily. The team that I'd recommend for farming the parts is an obvious choice, the Legendary Undead, which is Zom, Yorick, and then either Hansuk or Overlord Executum, whoever you have there, and then of course uh, Life Reaper Brom at the end. I've done some videos for Pestilence Spiral in the past, so make sure you go onto my Boss Island playlist and go and check those out so you get a feel for how it's done. For me, Brom's special effect of unhealable damage doesn't really help a great deal. I've not once found a use for it because then bosses with healing powers are few and far between for what I do. That doesn't mean to say, however, that you guys won't find a good application for it. As I mentioned earlier, there's no buff applied to any of the allies that you're with. It only affects that single target. But with that said, the good thing about it though is the, the amount of crazy damage that it does. Because uh, Brom's attack is naturally very high, as I mentioned, with that time 3 applied, it's actually quite ludicrous and can one-shot even the toughest bosses. Overall, I do think it's worth levelling Brom's epic up as it has a place in the legendary undead team. But it should only be a medium priority as far as I'm concerned because its use is quite limited. That's all for now guys. Please do leave comments, questions or suggestions in the comments section below. I'll always try to answer. Remember to check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more Dungeon Boss videos or search Zombie Dungeon Boss in Google or YouTube for more. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.